Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, I taught you exactly how we could go ahead and gather information uh, through Google Docs. So in this tutorial, I'll be continuing with the first part and this will be a two or three part tutorial in total. So just to be specific. So the initial check that we would be doing is that we would be confirming whether the website is vulnerable or not to uh, SQL map through SQL injection. For every string that I have showed you, you will get hundreds of search results. So you might be wondering how do you know which is really vulnerable to SQL map injection. There's multiple ways to do that and I'm sure that people will argue that which is uh, which one is the best but to me I'll be following the simplest and the most conclusive stuff. So what you need to do is that Let's say you have searched a website using in URL column colon item underscore ID equals to and one of the search results will show you a website like http colon um, sql uh, dummy website dot com slash cgi slash bin and item dot cgi or something like that. So just you need to add a single quotation mark at the end of the URL and just to ensure it is a double quotation mark and uh, it is not a sing uh, single quotation mark. So now your URL will become something like SQL dummy website uh, dot c, uh, com slash CGI slash bin item CGI item equals to 15 apostrophe. So uh, if the page returns an SQL error, the page is vulnerable to SQL map injection. So if it loads or redirects you to a different page, move on to the next site in your Google uh, search results page. So you can uh, see uh, example errors over here uh, that I have obscured everything including the URL and the page design for obvious reasons. So these are the errors. Let me see if I have an image that I created last time. Okay, perfect. So I had uh, this specific website that I used and this was the error that I used. I got that's dbd mysql db select pro. So I'll go ahead and show you specific things as to how we could actually, uh, what are the errors that we are get, we're going to get and what does it mean exactly. <coughs> so I'll just go to the previous one. Okay. So if you see this kind of error, so let me check. Okay. This was the uh, website that I was telling you. Uh, this I will assume that this is your website and just put an apostrophe in the end and it will work. That's what uh, it did to my actually. So these are the errors that you would be getting. So a uh, description would be over here for this that it's an unhanded exception uh, that's occurred during the execution of current web request. Please review this track trace for information about the error belt originated in the code blah 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 and something like that. So you don't actually need to know much in detail about exactly what this is. So I'll show you uh, different types of error that uh, normally people would get. This is another one that separate argument is not valid. Uh, MySQL fetch array and uh, yeah. So as you can see, it's in var www myawesomestore.com. That means this var means it is under Linux. If you have an error in SQL syntax, uh, check the manual that corresponds to MySQL server version for the right syntax. That means the people have all the names inside quotes at line 12 and it will it is vulnerable to multiple quotes. Then we have the Java SQL, this SQL error, SQL command not properly entered at Oracle JDBC database and uh, yeah, SQL exception Java Oracle, okay, perfect, quoted string not properly terminated. This means that the error was not properly terminated and some of the other thing like for example, if you had used C++ or C before, then you know that you need to always go ahead and put a semicolon in the end for the uh, specific um, command to end. But uh, similarly over here, uh, the specific code was not properly terminated and that is the reason why um, we received this error. Then after that we have query fail, that's error, unterminated quoted uh, string or at or near. So that means that multiple quotes were there or there were three quotes to start but there were four quotes to end. That's why it was not properly terminated. Uh, so and this is the final one. So. Let's go ahead and list the database management systems using SQL map uh, SQL injection. As you can see from over here, I have found an SQL map SQL uh, injection vulnerable website. That's this one. Now I need to list all the databases in that vulnerable database. This is called as enumerating number of columns. So as I am using SQL map, I'll tell you also which one is vulnerable. You need to go ahead and run 
a specific command. This is how it looks like uh, when you go ahead and run the SQL map. This is the specific website and it will show you everything. So in here, you need to go ahead and uh, name your SQL map query. And over here, I'll just go ahead and show it out to you. Okay, I'll just go back. Perfect. So this is how it will look like. So before you proceed from over here, you need to go ahead and point something. So you need to go ahead and type SQL map over here. It means the name of the SQL binary file hyphen u when you go ahead and use that over here that means over here hyphen u is the target url which is in case our sql dummy website.com and hyphen uh, hyphen dbs it means it's just enumerating database management system databases so this command will reveal quite a few interesting information these are the things you will see when you go ahead and run that apache backend database mysql 5.0 Retrieved information scheme, retrieved SQL dummy website, fetch data log to text under user share SQL map output uh, xyz.com or the SQL dummy website.com. This means that he has a Linux or a Unix system. So now we have two databases that we can look into. Information schema that is a standard database for almost every MySQL uh, database. So uh, we don't need to worry about it. So our interest over here would be on the SQL dummy website database. So let's go ahead and list tables of uh, target database using SQL map, SQL injection. So now we need to know how many tables this SQL dummy website database got and what are the names. So to find the information, we'll be using another command that is this SQL hyphen U uh, HTTP colon uh, dummy website dot com CGI uh, bin item CGI. 15 but after that I would be typing hyphen D SQL dummy website space hyphen hyphen tables so this database will get us these eight different tables it's more than eight obviously but these are the tables that we will get that's fetching tables for databases heuristics detected web page and so these are the eight databases that we would be getting item link other picture picture tag popular picture popular tag and user info and of course, we want to check what's inside the user info table using SQL map injection as that table probably contains username and passwords. So now coming to the step four, we need to go and list um, all the uh, list columns on target table of selected database using SQL map SQL injection. So now we need to list all the columns on the target table user info of SQL dummy website database using SQL map SQL injection and SQL map SQL injection makes it really easy by us going ahead and running this following command that's SQL map hyphen u http dummy website dot com and uh, hyphen d SQL dummy website hyphen t user info slash hyphen hyphen columns columns so this uh, this specific query when ran it will give us these specific tables so uh, that is the user ID, uh, int unsigned, user login, var care, user password, var care, user ID. So uh, this is exactly what we're looking for. Target table, user login, and user password. So the next uh, step that would in, uh, we would be doing would be to use or to list usernames from target columns of target table of selected database using SQL map injection. SQL map SQL injection makes this easy. So for us to go and do that, we need to go in and run this specific co command. That's SQL map hyphen U and blah, 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 hyphen D SQL dummy website hyphen T user info hyphen C user underscore login hyphen dump. Mm -hmm. So when you go ahead and run this, you will be amazed to see what you have got. We will getting the username and from the database. So as you can see, we have retrieved user X. And it will go ahead and analyze the table uh, dump for possible password hashes. So after we go ahead and do that, we need to extract the password from the target columns of the target table of the database using SQL map injection. So you're probably going to get used to how SQL map injection your tool is used. And before I go ahead and proceed anything, that would be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be continuing with the gathering the password. And if once we go ahead and get the password, it will not exactly what you would expect it to be. So we need to again go ahead and crack the specific thing that we would be getting, which I'll be showing you into the next tutorial.